Assalamualaikum Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Welcome to the Dar Education Project video tutorial series for the Java window tutorial uh, with Swing in Eclipse In uh, this session number 10 we are going to discuss how to display the data in the JTable data JTable or uh, view the data from the SQLite to our uh, application in the J window So let's start and create a program here and I'm going to create a right click on the source and create uh, a new j frame for cancer and select the j frame and name this uh, student uh, information as display student information and just click on it so we are going to select on the design mode and just click on here change the size of the frame according to your need and first of all I am going to take an absolute layout here okay. it's better to take uh, J menu because uh, if we will add J menu bar then it is easy for us to add J menu just like five here and we add the other J menus after that okay now we will add uh, uh, the absolute layout here and after that we are going to add j label <coughs> here and uh, the soft student information ok now right click on it and auto size component and if you want to change the font then click on this one and we are using the Arial Arial this one bold and make the size according to that 34 ok now change the component of task of uh, student information ok now we need to add a J uh, table here and right click on J table and just uh, display it according to your need or design and one more thing we need to click right click on it and surround with an UJ scroll pen here it will use uh, uh, to move uh, your data downward just like this scroll pan this is one of the scroll pan now we will need to add a j button to display the information by when we click on this button and uh, name it uh, show information something like this information <coughs> now we need two more things uh, we need uh, to name this table scroll pan and uh, scroll pan save this information and run this program and you run this it will display the information like this and now we will add some code here behind this one and uh, first of all we know that what is the name of our table so table name is table and uh, one more thing we know how to add a chart file and for this thing we need uh, to write this rs2xml.jar download free and it will uh, go for this final angels and demons you just right click or just click on it and uh, it will give you a jar file here which is already downloaded by me and you just need to click on download 
and it will download the jar files uh, since i am already download the files here and then just copy it java programs and jui jar file then this will be the rs2 and copy it and place in the folder and company project and here is the jar files and i am just copy paste it here remember that this jar file help us to display the data in the xml format so just refresh this company project right click on it and refresh it and you can see that the jar files are here rs2xml.jar <coughs> now click on the jres system and build the path go for the configure build path and add jar files and uh, here you will see that jar files and click on rs2xml.jar and apply it and ok it now uh, next work is then <coughs> In our display information system, we need to add in and import two important packages, java.sql and the second one is import java.x.swing package here. After that, uh, we need to create the database connection for this thing and just go for that and create a connection here. Mm, okay. I am creating a the connection variable and here is the connection and name it con db connection connection whatever you need and in this display student information method we will create the instance instance for this db connection is equal to and we need the name of our database connection dot and use data connection here after this uh, what we want uh, we need to show the data when we click on this show information button so just click on it and it will be here okay first of all we are going to create a sql connection sql query is here and i want to get the values from select static from and uh, we know that our database is created here in the last video and the table name is student table and uh, here is some data and i am going to add some more data and just add it muhammad Nadim house number 12 garden town from 03110106 something like this and Rahman at the road of gmail.com and I'm going to click it ok ok so you can see that the data was entered correctly so now we are going to write our query student table after writing this query uh, we need to write the prepared oh God, sorry. and that was prepared statement statement and I am using a statement is equal to prepare statement and use the variable name of our connection which is db connection and uh, here is the db connection db connection okay db connection dot prepare statement and in this prepare statement we will write the sql query and uh, when we click on it sql query what we will have shown here we will go for the unhandled exception type sql exception so it's better to use this and try here 
and catch exception x it will handle the exception j option pan dot show message dialog and here it will be ex if any exception was created then it this statement this try catch block will handle it now we need to add the result set add add the result set sorry add the result set and uh, this is the result set and i am giving the name of result is equal to db connection dot exit oh sorry that was statement dot execute theory okay now the result will be placed in the resource and uh, now we will display the data in the table and we have the table dot and set model table set model table that was the name of our uh, table j table we are created already and i am just giving the name of j table j table is here and here is the table dot set model set selection model I thought so yes that was the set model because they are the different kind of set table mm -hmm. and now we will use db util dot util this class was created db util there are a lot of classes are there and I am just going to check it out okay that was db util not db util db utils dot and result set to table model and here we will place uh, the display the resources is here and this is the final call for the program now we will run this program and check whether the data was displayed from uh, from this uh, my this SQLite database to our program or not? So just run this. This with the database, and now we are going to show more. So you can see that the data was displayed correctly here, and uh, this is done for this part. Now you can see that this dialog J option pane show again and again. So it should look not nicer. So change this thing. And when you run this program, this database collection re option pane was now display on your screen here. Just click it here, and that data was shown here automatically. So, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Allah Hafiz.